What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Rudvar Stark back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about something interesting like star trail photography. So some of you probably know what that is, for those people who doesn't know what that is I'm gonna show you a few uh, example photos uh, on the screen right now. What is a star trail photography and there are two different ways of making them, probably more than two, but I'm gonna talk through two of them. Uh, the one way, you go outside to shoot the stars, so you set up the longest possible shutter speed you can for your camera. For most of the cameras it's 30 seconds or for like Panasonic's or some mirrorless cameras it's, it's like one minute. And you just take a long photo with stars, which makes the stars, because of the Earth's rotation, the stars appear as like uh, little lines because they obviously they're moving well not the stars are moving but the earth is moving so you end up with little star trails uh, but to have like a really nice looking star trails you need a really long exposure most of the cameras can't do it uh, there you can use one of these like if you have any of these remote controls for your camera you can set up as long exposure as you want that sometimes could be quite tricky because if you set up like a 20 minute exposure you can't really predict how the photo is going to look after the 20 minutes which I've personally tested and I've tried, I've got a couple uh, I've done 20 minute exposure and 40 minute ex exposure and luckily for me they turned out to be quite nice Today we're going to talk through probably the easier way So I went out yesterday because the skies were clear and nice I took my Canon 600D, so this is what I used yesterday, it's my Canon 600D with my 14mm f2.8 Samyang manual lens which is nice, it will be much nicer on a full frame body but uh, nevertheless it's still nice 14mm, plenty of wide and f2.8 what you really want for dark skies to let in more light and the, you can see here in, uh, in the Lightroom all the photos I took, uh, 42 photos I took and I will show you one thing that you need to bear in mind whenever you're doing that or you have a manual lens or something if we zoom in here you can see that nothing's really in focus and that's, that's, yes, that's my bad and I will explain you why so you wouldn't do exactly the same so when you have a manual lens obviously you know you can you can do the focus manually from one meter to two meters to three meters and then eventually uh, eventually you will reach the infinity which is here you can see here down here that that's infinity but I went this far you can for most of these lenses you can actually go further than infinity like this would be infinity here yeah but I went this far so that focus is somewhere beyond infinity and nothing's really in focus I came home yesterday checked out the photos like oh no but yeah we're gonna still do the tutorial anyway so we got these 42 photos but unfortunately because during the 33rd photo there was a plane in the shot so uh, we're gonna be using only 32 photos because we don't want this plain line B in the shot so at this point you just do your basic uh, you just do your basic edit uh, you select the first one and if we go all the way to number 33 32 make sure we select the first one click sync settings boom check all and synchronize all the photos will have exactly the same photo uh, exactly the same adjustments and now just go to the export settings all right cool the Lightroom is finished you jump back to the folder where you saved your photos so here we have all our photos and then you're gonna need to go and browse and look for a program it's called star stack so this is the program that we're gonna be using here and uh, I was digging through internet and I was trying to find some kind of official site or or where to buy it and something like that I didn't find it so I guess I was reading one article so I guess it's free I don't want to lie but I didn't pay anything anywhere because I couldn't find any official sites anyway so this is a program when you look at it it's yeah it's just like that and uh, if you want to go here to the very right top corner and click on the settings here uh, make sure your uh, blending mode is uh, gap filling we're gonna we're gonna be using gap filling anyways and um, pretty much if you have your dark photo like if you've made like a completely black photo to subtract for it says subtract dark image we don't have it so we're not gonna click that here 
and uh, these settings, uh, the threshold overlay, we're going to be able to manipulate once we've done. So we go to the folder where we have all our photos, select them all, hit Ctrl A, take the first one, drag and drop them here in the side. So there you go. Now you can, if you click on each of them, you can pretty much view uh, one by one. So make sure you click on the first one. And up here you can see there are four different uh, icons up here. So the first one is open images, which you can just drag and drop. The second one is open uh, dark frames. Uh, we don't have that. Uh, the third one, which is actually not the last one, I don't know why, is save as. Uh, but we, this is not available because we've not done any processing and the fourth one here is start processing So if you click that there's gonna be some little magic happening as you can see uh, the star stacks will Use all the photos you took and it's, it's just gonna add up Wherever something changed wherever something moved so in this case all the stars have been moving well the earth has been rotating so that's why the stars have been uh, like going in one direction so this program does it all for you so you can see we're starting to get some trails so we are more than halfway through you can see down here and actually down here it says how far we've got and yeah it depends again on your on your uh, computer your PC MacBook iMac Windows whatever how powerful it is uh, but yeah, as, as I speak right now, uh, there will pop up a message little on the on in the middle of the screen. It says uh, blending done. 32 images blended into like 57 seconds or something. So this is gonna be the final image. And you wanna go here to the settings uh, gap filling. Uh, click here, show threshold overlay. So what you wanna do? So you can see all this green weird stuff now. Uh, you wanna go here with threshold and go high. You want to try get rid of much as green one as you can, but make sure this, the, the, the trails are still green. Like you can see here, the trails are still green. And we just want to try and get rid of much as possible, but so the star trails are still green. Don't ask me why, it's just, it is what it is. And at the amount of this one here, I don't really know what it changes, so I'm just going to leave it right in the middle. So. If we click this uh, third button up here, it should save the file and you can obviously choose. Uh, so, star trail one, star trail one. So uh, I believe it's gonna save it in some kind of awesomely cool format, if I'm not mistaking. So we're gonna check. So this is, what is it? Uh, 7. Oh, it's JPEG. Okay, I actually it saved up uh, it as a JPEG because I was expecting some TIFF file or something. Okay, we exported a JPEG file, so that's it. There you go. That's your star trail. As easy as that. I mean, it was easy. Obviously, I kind of expect you to know how to, how to make like star photos and everything. I'm actually thinking about. Uh, making complete guides like two two complete guides maybe some two or three parts each on how to do night photography that will be one uh, as far as I know it myself and the other guide would be um, how to do time-lapse like everything about time-lapse I think that would be cool if you want to write down in the comments which one would you like to see more uh, then yeah, I'll, I'll try to figure out and I'll try to be working on it as quick as I can. Obviously, just because of my error, you can see the photo is not really as sharp as it would be because of what I did with the focus here. But obviously, I did it and I'm showing you so you wouldn't do it. As simple as that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, go down in the description I still have an active uh, giveaway running so it's very easy to apply for that just click the link and it's just gonna straight to the to the giveaway if you're interested obviously as I said make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one